on the reverse. Down. Now, where is it pitched? That's gone. Given. Straight into the attack. Jordan Cox, who's been watching James Vince time it to all parts. I think he might send us upstairs. Simon Duell. Looks out. It looks out. I, I don't know whether it's worth the risk. He's going to. He's reviewed it. LRJ. Beasley Reefer Jr. Original decision is out. Pitching in line. Impact in line. Wickets hitting. Should you, you stay with your original out decision. You are on screen. Signal now. Review. Lost. Both times. The season. Yeah! Gone! Ran out of patience. Did the Queenslander. Chris Lynn has been knocked over. What a bowling from Salam Khail. I must say, very, very impressive. Second over and look at this. That was the... Leg break. And look at that beautiful length. Especially as Pakistanis. You can tell. Oh, yes. He's got another one. The main man goes. And that two on a flipper. Yeah, stunner. What a cracker from Wakar. Trying to give himself a bit of room here. One of the length he thought he got to whip it through the onside. It didn't. It skidded. It's not natural for him. Oh, he's got this one, though. Well, well, well. That's lazy. Just hit one for four. And I mentioned he struggles to bowl right arm round to right handers. It's something that Bravo's been working with Odin Smith. They were on the back foot. He hit the boundary and just playing away from the body. Just with the angle the ball was going away. No swing, no sim. Now, was there a little feather? Yes, more than a feather. Whoa, what an introduction. Once again, Captain Pollard gets a spinner into the attack. Not the best ball James Vince will face all year. A little scratch and a good catch by Spice Man. Better to get out. Better down the leg side, but boy, excellent catch by Andre Fletcher. Fabulous glove work. Catch it! Down to long off, straight to long off. Trent Bond takes the catch. And Waka Salam Khil picks up another. And my Emirates have uh, been dominant since that power play. He can hit big. That's his third wicket, Sukar Salam. Failing to middle it straight to the fielder at uh, mid off. Easy catch by one of the best fielders in this DP World INT20. Oh. He's got him. He's got him. Chance at the ball is in. Oh, yes, Trent Bolt. He's just tipped it off his fingers onto the stumps. And Drake's might be found short. Sorry, no problem. Yeah, I'm satisfied. He's short of the crease. Ready to load out on the big screen. Well, we'll see that again from end on. And you'll see Trent Bolt's hand just touch the ball onto the stumps. Just direct it. Dismiss. Was he? Hello? Hello, and goodbye. Greedy on the leg side, Mohamed Wasim, and it's the first one to fall. Uh, just picked the wrong side of the of the ground. The big, big boundary would have been six for sure on the other side. Again, straight to Hetmeyer, the slower ball, it was wide of off. Fletch has just found the safe hands of Shimron Hetmeyer behind point on the offside. Got hit for boundary, and that's a very, very slow ball, only 106 kilometers an hour. And again, an excellent catch by Hetmeyer at backward point. Yes, the plan worked. This doesn't look in good nick, that's for sure. Here we go. We didn't middle it, there's a fielder there, straight to it. He's got a wicket in his first over again. Ayan Khan, fifth wicket in this DP World Isle T20 for this uh, youngster. Toe into the bat. And straight to Chris Jordan, made the most of it. Now, no timing. It's gone up into the Dubai night sky. It's James Vince, and that is huge. A massive moment here in Dubai as Kusa Pereira takes the bait it's a slower ball from blessing change up here released it loft cutter 
toe of the blade from Pereira. And uh, Jimmy Vince, no problems with this one, the reverse cup. Just good deflection too, I reckon. Oh, here's a Tachin. Yes! Keep on running, Daniel Mosley. Overton with a direct one. What a cracker. There was hesitation, and it's cost him. It was a look. I think initially Mousy wanted, then he says no, and then Pono just kept running. Miles out. Brilliant from Jamie Overton. Powerful, direct hit throw. On the way to the longer side. Really clever bowling and a good catch in the end. Jordan Cox just about. It is a couple of Yorkers, then short ball. He didn't middle it. Longest part of the ground. And a good catch in the end by Cox. Made sure that he reaches under the ball. 40 off 30. Tries to ramp it. Makes a mess of it. Blessing you, beauty. Chris Jordan. Exceptional skills. The first time. He's got the better of Kyron Pollard in a T20, and the owners are jubilant. From Jordan, he followed the batter, went outside off stump, that's not his shot, straight to Mazarabani. Took it very easily, second wicket first.